Farm Boy Squad. <clears throat> We're back. Got some Block 15 Ridgeback Red. Red Ale. Good stuff. Just hopped out of the shower. Watch like four hours straight BBS Live. <laughs> Maybe in and out, but definitely a lot of BBS Live. All right, we're continuing Farm Boy Squad week with Spearhead Shaving Company. This one is the Ardenus. This is a somewhat recent pickup um, that I got thanks to a very good tip from the Canabler can over at Shave 326. Um, he gave me a nice tip that this was on sale. Ardenus is a scent from a duplication of Amouage Bracken Man. And it's an awesome Fougere scent. I really love it. Um, it's a, you know, somewhat like firm crope. I mean, as, as far as cropes go anyways. Um, definitely my wife took the AC over to her, uh, her kind of lash room where she, where she does her little side hustle. And so I didn't have any in here, so we're definitely using some Sterling Mentholated Pre-Shave. We're going to finish off with some Zaharoff Signature Aftershave Splash, since we don't have a matching splash to the spearhead. We're also going to be using the Theta Brush. This is just tap water. And I got to load it up into the Lancaster Bowl, so let's get with it after another drink here. So, <clears throat> there's a the little Thater Silver tip. No gels whatsoever. Not the densest motherfucker whatsoever. But it's a nice, very nice knot. I think it's soft as all get out. Um, kind of has that more classic vibe with the basic bitch handle and, you know, one color. Um, nothing fancy whatsoever. It's just kind of classic classic vibe it um i i first got really turned on to it by so sharp david he was saying that it was his favorite a while back and um uh i picked it up and i loved it as well so the only thing i don't love is their handle options but as far as the knot itself it's everything that that he said it was and I've been enjoying it ever since, even though I am not a fan of the knot whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and give the knot a little dunk into the water here. Add some more water. And um, so, I had a slew of mail calls today. A couple from Amazon. I got another shell for my key fob for my truck. I have a... 2011 Dodge Ram and it has the whole microchip and everything in it. I went to the dealership to ask how much it was going to be. It's going to be 180 for the new key fob and guts to the key fob, you know, the motherboard and everything. And then it was going to be $65 to program it to my truck. So like 260, you know what I mean? All together, all said and done. And then I asked the guy, I said, hey, can I just, you know, buy one online and bring that in? And he was like, yeah, you can, but I don't recommend it because, because they're, they're shoddy. Those third party ones are, are shoddy and they don't always link up. And I was like, okay, I, I get, you're probably supposed to say that, you know what I mean? You're probably supposed to tell me, you know, no, buy it here. But I bought one for 20 bucks rather than 180. The thing looks pretty good. Like it feels substantial in the hand. It looks really similar to the real thing. And 
All I did was pull the guts out of my old one that still worked and I just put them directly into the new one and took the new one's guts out, the motherboard and everything. I just switched that over to the new body, the new casing, and lo and behold, I'm golden. You know what I mean? Good to go. So that really worked pretty good for me. I was happy about that. Didn't even have to pay $65 to get a program. And I, I do have, you know, that old body just in case I need a another spare down the road. I can always go get those new guts programmed for $65 and just use the old body just for a backup key. But that, that was good news. Definitely good news. All right, let's get some lather on the face. Move some of this gear around. All right, got all this slickness on my fingertips from the pre-shave. And then I also got a charger, uh, a little juice pack portable charger from when my headphones got stolen out of my truck. I mentioned that a while back. And my headphones were plugged into a Samsung juice pack portable charger and as far as I can tell, that's all they stole was the headphones and the juice pack out of my console. And so I got a new juice pack. And then I got my uh, Purely Skinful order came in. I had a lot of mail calls today. My Purely Skinful order came in. My um, I ordered some face wash. It was like... I don't know, like sea kelp and charcoal face wash. Um, so I put that in my shower and then I ordered three sets. So one beef tallow, one deer tallow, one bear tallow set. So I was excited for that. And then um, I guess the big excitement right here was this Henkel's free door. It's got the uh, very nice condition Henkel's free door. It's got the free door right there. If it'll focus. Very nice. Right there. And look at that spine work. Oh yeah, you weren't expecting that shit. <laughs> very nice. So, I guess I can show you the other side as well. If it'll focus. I don't know why it's not, but it's not. There it is. Anyhow, so that's what we're using today. Did not get it home, so we'll see if the eBay edge is good. Um, I did give it a slight drop, though. I did run it over, like, um, the hairs on my knuckle, and it popped them right off. I think she's cutting, boys. I think she's cutting. But, uh, so, I guess we'll just have to see here as I'm trying to figure out my technique with the new razor. I wish I would have wrote down the measurements. I'm not necessarily in a hurry, but I want to get laid, so I'm trying to hurry. But this, so far, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot the fucking orgasmic first swipe. Oh my god, what the fuck was I thinking? Oh, well, you know what, I guess it just wasn't that orgasmic, was it? Fucking rookie move. <laughs>
You always know when you have to re-pivot your razor, that's not good. <laughs> I put it up against my skin and I was like, ooh, that's, that's pokey. <laughs> Let's see if anything came of it. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's get this other side here. It actually feels pretty smooth. You can see it's popping off hairs. It's not, uh, I only got one day's growth, so it's not like there's anything crazy, but. But it's definitely cutting, so that's good. Go ahead and get some of this sweat and lather off. It's definitely cutting, like I can I can see the hairs in the mix. I don't know, everybody always craps on eBay edges probably because they always have bad experiences, but this one seems to be alright. Sometimes I wonder if, you know, you're buying a razor off eBay that needs a little bit of work, like it's not in the best condition, and it arrives and it's not shave ready. I feel like that should kind of be expected if the razor is not in, you know, the best of condition. I feel like it should be sort of expected because it's like, this razor needs work, you know what I mean? If they say shave ready, and it looks like, you know, it needs some TLC, then, you know, it's probably not shave ready. Now, if you can tell they've done some restoration, and, um, you know, it just shows signs of age, but you can tell they've tried to do some restoration, and they say it's shave ready, well, maybe it might be shave ready, you know what I mean? Then they're kind of in the maybe it will be, maybe it won't area. But if it looks like it's in like sterling condition and um, you know, it looks like they've done a, a great job doing a restoration and they say it's shave ready, you know, it's kind of leaning more towards it might, you know, m maybe it will be shave ready. I don't know, that's just kind of how my mind works. If I were like a bet man, you know, Now, if I was shaving things like the mustache or the goat, where it's like really densely, densely packed hairs, rather than the cheek and neck where, you know, I'm not saying mine's scattered and, and thin, my growth, because it's not, but it's definitely not as dense as on the goatee and the uh, mustache area. If I was shaving that, that, I think that would be kind of like the real test of whether or not it's shave ready. <clears throat> I always got to kind of caveat that, you know, my experience is probably going to be a little bit different than yours since I'm a bearded shaver. But the edge feels good. I'll have to uh, write down the eBay seller, seller I bought it from. So I can share that information with you guys in case you want to hit them up. I didn't write it down for this one, though. All right. Here we go against the grain. And it is a hot one. Just... Ever so smooth. I don't know. I'm liking this edge, actually. It is. I feel like it's, like, a, approaching that, like, sticky sharp. It's still smooth. But 
but I think it's approaching sticky sharp, kind of like um, my Frank Mesa edge from Strike Old Shave. That to me was sticky sharp. Like I could kind of like feel it on my face, you know. Get this all to the side. And I am just a sucker for that spine work, man. Of course the camera's not going to pick it up when I say I'm a sucker. <laughs> but that spine work, kind of like my vintage kukri, I am a sucker for that shit. Just... <laughs> Some about it, man. Just classes it up. It's more pompous, you know what I mean? Got that loose but sure grip. what you need it's just almost like a confident confident grip you know what I mean loose in the hand but sure you know what I mean the razor's not going anywhere but you're not giving it the death the death grip either let's do a little feel around The suds did a good job. I do think they were battling real time sweat. Because <laughs> it's. The uh, Sterling menthol is only entry level menthol, so it's not gonna, not gonna last. Mentholate aid appreciate. Feels pretty good. It was pretty good. I think I could have done a little bit better in some spots. I'm not going to worry about it. So, let me grab the good old Lancaster here. <clears throat> BBS Live gave away a fantastic looking uh, Lancaster brush. That thing was hot. I guess Andre spotted a defect in the pour, and he donated it for giveaway. I think he, the BBS guys, Nate and Mel, had to point out the defect because it wasn't easily seen on camera. It's just kind of like a bubble within the handle, but the handle kind of had like this nice copper top. And then like, kind of like copper, copper flake inside a translucent uh, bottom half. Very nice brush. Can't remember who won it, but they're lucky. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Get my mustache out of my mouth. Alright, so let's finish off with some... Motherfucking Zaharoff signature. Not the same, but also Colony. Obviously made by the House of Zaharoff. Has a little, uh, a little burn there on the cheeks. Interesting. This is my first time using it, but I either got really close on the cheeks or something. Because I didn't get any burn on the neck. 
it has got a little burn on the cheeks. I'll just put the access on the forearms. Whew, God damn, this stuff smells good. I'm too hot to smell this fucking good. <laughs> All right, let me put this shit to the side. So we used Spearhead Shaving Company, Ardenes, an awesome Fougere cologne duplication, and a great value, at least at this point, soap company while it's still experimental shave soap. I think it was like nine bucks for four or five ounces. I don't remember. But great, great deal. Also use the Theta silver tip bulb, the Lancaster bowl, Sterling's mentholated pre-shave, love that stuff and my new Hankel's free door that square point kind of got it rounded off on the grind up there on the top those beautiful beautiful spine work very short tail but I can I can work with it there's that there's that I already showed it, but basic on one side, free door on the other. So, awesome addition to the dune. And I guess I can show you what's in the bullpen Carlito Shave Style. There it is. That's what's coming up tomorrow. Alright guys, we'll finish where we started. Catch you guys on another Fern Boy Squad week.